Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be the Vows and Favourites video for February. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty glad February is out of the way. Now if you don't know, both of my kids are born in February. They are born a week apart. Well, two years and a week apart, but you know. And this month has been a little bit crazy. So you might have seen that I've been lacking in videos. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I tried to preempt and schedule as many as I could, but when it comes to the videos like the plan with me videos, um, where their birthdays both landed on a Monday, it it just threw out my whole filming schedule. So I'm really sorry about that, but I know I have filmed four videos up until now, so there will be normal videos will resume from now on. I have apologise for my lack in punctuality in February but I have been doing some crafting here and there most of it's been downstairs because obviously I've been sorting stuff out for the kids birthdays and they had a birthday party and ah, you will probably be seeing all of the scrapbook layouts and videos and pictures from that coming up in the next month I am actually currently um printing a load of the photos from this whole month um downstairs so um you will probably be <laughs> you will probably be seeing those layouts coming up but anyway into the thousand favorites so a couple of these things are new a couple of these things are stuff that featured in my um try and craft art and craft supplies from um aliexpress.com video i'll have a link below or if you scroll back a few videos you'll see it um where i actually opened um products on live on camera and tried them out for you guys and told you my honest opinion so i have a collection of things here and a few bits that i've rediscovered so let's start with my favorite the first favorite that i want to show you is something that i have been loving this month and that is this this is the uh mica powder by finn finnabar anyway it's this beautiful gold powder now if you will if you're one of my patreons or if you're if you would have seen last friday's video i think it was an art journal page i used this stuff in so it's actually a powder i don't want to really do that it's like a powdery stuff and all i do or all, all i have been doing is mixing it with a tiny bit of water and it makes this gorgeous gold paint and oh my god is it shimmery i will quickly show you the page from the art journal page if you want to see how i did it the video is on my channel but can you see how shimmery that is the gold obviously absolutely love it you can play around with the thickness of it so you can have it go on quite thin or use a little bit less water and have it quite thick I love this stuff and I'm definitely going to be looking into getting some more colours. I know um, this was a present from the lovely Rosanna. I think it was a Christmas present and um, I love it. Absolutely love it, Rosanna. So well done. I love this stuff and I'm going to be trying out a few more bits. Trying to trying to um, mix it with like, texture paste and stuff like that and really put it through its paces and see if it, if it works. But definitely love this. If you know anywhere that sells these um, anywhere, please let me know because I love them. Next favourite I have are these. Now these featured in the trying out craft and arts and craft stuff from AliExpress um, video that I put up. These are, I think they're supposed to be like Copic markers. Like this, that's what I couldn't remember the name of. Um, they're like an off-brand Copic marker. They're called Touch new and if you aren't you're on aliexpress or i've actually been told that they're on amazon um you can see these and they're normally in like a, a black case where you see just a load of them um on aliexpress you pay for them separately i think there is actually listings on amazon that you can get the whole pack of them which i might treat myself to um but these are really lovely so i've got these in 83 lavender i've got them in 198 tender pink i've got it in 58 mint green and i've got this in the it's worn off i don't know if you look at that video uh, where i opened this the first time it the actual numbers worn off but i love these these markers are so 
beautiful. The only thing I will tell you, I used these in a plan from video that I actually put up a couple, no, I didn't actually put up because I filmed it and then it was so late in the week I didn't see the point in putting it up. But this was the layout I did for last week. I haven't even done one this week and today's Thursday, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing one. So this is the one I did last week. Um, let me know if you want to see this video go up because I didn't put it up because I didn't know whether you'd want to see it. Um, but if you look at the next page, it will let me, it's not letting me see it now, is it? It bleeds really bad. <laughs> so if you're going to use this in a plan, in a bullet journal or something, be careful because it does bleed through to the, the other side. So just be warned about that. But they are beautiful. They work beautifully. I've been colouring with these, drawing with these, um, and they are fabulous. So I've got it. Uh, I would recommend those. Next is kind of a funny product. This one is. Um, it was in that video again, the craft, trying stuff from AliExpress, and it is this, the electric rubber. Now, you knew this guy, guys, this was going to be in the Fans and Famous. If you don't know what this is, it's basically a battery powered rubber. I've actually taken the batteries out because if you look, watch that video, I did take the batteries out of my remote control, and then someone commented on the video just after I'd uploaded it and said, did you remember to put the batteries back in your remote control? I hadn't, so thank you for reminding me. Um, I didn't, so I have to get some more batteries for this, but it is incredible. It's so, it just takes out, and it, uh, it takes out the stress of trying to rub something out and then you kind of scrunch the paper up a little bit. This is amazing, it's very powerful. So I definitely won't get one of these. It was about two pound off of AliExpress, but I love it. I've been using it a lot from some sketching that I've been doing. I've got kind of a little bit of something that I'm working on behind the, scene, behind the scenes here at John Rosecroft's headquarters um, that I will probably be showing you guys probably at some point next month, probably the month after, um, probably April time, um, that I'm kind of sketching some ideas for. So this has been coming in very handy. So, so that's something that I recommend. And the last thing I have here, which is something that I've kind of revisited, are these. Now, you probably think alphabet stickers. These are actually from B&M. So, they're like a, a knockoff version of whatever these are supposed to be. I don't know whether they're supposed to be like a, a copy of like a quote paper range. I'm not too sure. But there was a sticker kit. There was a alphabet stickers kit that looked like this with all the different patterns on. Now, I've really not liked these because... Um, I didn't like that they were all different patterns. I just can't, I have to have an alphabet or, or one word has to be all one colour. So I found it really difficult to use these. However, I'm just looking for something. Where has, here, I used these. Now these are another favourite which I'll go into, which are some paint pens that I got from AliExpress, but any paint pen should work. I've been colouring them in, as you can see, for a busted layout I did. I coloured in these ones. Um, and just coloured them in and they're actually they're actually a really good font so it's a good idea that I've picked up online is if you don't like an alphabet set just colour it in or paint it one colour and brand new alphabet set so I'm definitely going to probably be sitting there um, whenever I want to do a title and colour these in something else and the last actual favourites I forgot uh, for this month are these. These are the acrylic paint markers from AliExpress. Again, I love these. Um, these were, I think, about 64p each, and they are amazing. To the point where I'd actually reach for these over the uh, Posca paint pens. Now, the Posca paint pens here in the UK cost about three, four pound each, um, depending on where you go. I know Hobbycraft actually um, charge more for like the bigger, uh, thicker nibs. But these were like 60 something P off of AliExpress and I love these. I'm definitely going to be going back and getting some more in some different colours. I just got black and white because they're the ones that I probably would reach for. But I'm definitely going to be getting some in some other colours because these are incredible. So definitely check out AliExpress. They're called the STA Acrylic Markers. So if you can find... Uh, acrylic Paint... Uh, acrylic Painter, sorry. Um, if you find these on AliExpress, definitely, definitely get them because they are amazing. And my fail of the month. Now, I have been putting off um, putting this as a fail 
Um, I've actually filmed this as a fail and then changed my mind because there was something else I actually hated a bit more. Um, but these are having to become a fail now because I have been trying this month to get these to work and I cannot get them to work. And they are these oil paints. I don't understand them. Now, obviously, I don't do a lot of kind of big artistry. Artistry? Is that a word? Artist type work where it's like big canvas stuff. I do do painting on canvas, but I don't do it very often. I um, had these for my birthday. I just filled a, a couple of baskets for Steve and then he picked a few bits. Uh, these were actually from argos if you wanted to get some really cool paints these are actually i don't know what brand these are but they are really i think these are actually i can't remember what brand these are now uh, but they are some really cool paints and um i've got acrylics and watercolors which i've been loving but these oil paints i don't get it i don't understand why you would paint something with oil paints and it doesn't dry i mean it dries so that it's not like wet to touch but it just dries like it's an oil pastel i don't get it like i kind of think you might have to get like a, a sealant or like a, a gloss that you spray on top to stop it i don't get it. i painted something with these um i think it was just in an art journal page and i left it i normally if i do i normally film art journal pages last because then when i finish filming i take the memory card i charge the battery and i go downstairs and i leave whatever i've been painting on my desk to dry it doesn't move i did that and i came back to it and then realized it had like, it was just all and like i closed the art journal come back to it and it was all stuck together and the oil it, no, no and you could actually just i literally just did this on the page and all the colors just merged together don't understand it don't get it don't understand if you've got any tips for these please let me know i love the comments that i get from these videos from you guys give me tips i love all the tips on from last month's thousand favorites when how to sort out the hide swap gold um fiasco that i've got with the bottle i am actually on the hunt for a spray bottle for that and uh so thank you for the comments for that so if you've got any tips on how to use oil paints and so that when they dry they don't like run off the page or like a blendable please let me know because i would like to use them they are very beautiful colors as well i found that they stain paint brushes as well so if you've got a favorite paint brush don't use oil paints on them because they will stain forever and they stain everything as my beautiful white lap table downstairs has found out with the multiple colors that are now on it but yes, love this paint, can't get on with it. So if you've got any tips, please let me know. But this is the foul for this month. That was all, everything for the foul and favorites video for this month. I'm sorry if I've sounded a little bit weird. I have actually chipped a tooth um, over the week and it has progressively got worse. I have got an appointment with my dentist, but it's not until the 11th of March and that's to have it taken out. So not really looking forward to that but that's why i'm a little bit <laughs> i'm a little bit i sound like I've, i can't really pronounce my s's but that's because it's a little bit sore but yeah anyway thank you for watching this video guys and i will see you all in next month's trials and favorites